Hi, my name is Jim with Aricto, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to install Qflow on GCP with Mini KF. If you haven't already done so, you want to make sure that you head on over to aricto.com slash get started and sign up for Mini KF. This will get you access to all your deployment options as well as access to tutorials. In regards to requirements, there's a few things to be aware of. First, you need to have the ability to create a project. You need to have the editor role, as well as billing needs to be enabled. In regards to resources, you want to make sure that you have access to at least eight virtual CPUs, 30 gigabytes of memory, 200 gigs of boot disk, as well as 500 gigabytes of data disk to store your snapshots. Now there's three tips and trips I'm going to pass along. The first one is that GCP's free tier doesn't offer sufficient resources, so you need to upgrade to a paid account. Second is that if you're still running into insufficient resources errors, you may need to up your quota or putting in a request uh, for one. And then finally, make sure that you can SSH on port 22 and that you have access to HTTP on port 80, as these are essential for the install. The installation is basically four steps. Launch MiniKF from the GCP marketplace, define your VM resources, uh, once the VM is up, complete the install and verify the install, and then finally log into the MiniKF dashboard. Okay, from the MiniKF landing page on the GCP Marketplace, click the Launch button. In the Configuration screen, you're going to want to go ahead and name your deployment, select the zone that is most appropriate for your configuration, as well as select an instance type that's going to get you access to at least eight virtual CPUs. On the storage side, you want to specify 200 gigs for your boot disk and 500 gigs for your data disk. That's where we're going to be where your snapshots are going to reside. Accept the terms and click the deploy button. Now through the magic of time-lapse videography, we'll get that uh, deployment set up. And once the deployment is set up, we're ready to go ahead and click on the SSH button to open up a terminal and finish out the installation. You're going to want to type in mini KF at the command line and click enter and go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee as this part of the installation will take a couple of minutes to complete. But once it's completed, you're going to get a splash screen, which is going to give you the URL in which to access your mini KF uh, dashboard, but then also your username and your password. Now, depending on how you've actually configured GCP, you can probably use the name or you can use uh, the external IP, whichever one works for you. But remember your username and password that's going to be here. Open up a browser tab, uh, go to that particular IP or machine name, and from here type in your username as well as your password. Click the login button, and you are now at the central dashboard for Kubeflow. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy Kubeflowing.